What up, YouTube? Sorry about this uh, dark video. Uh, the avalanche had been down for about two weeks now, man. The uh, fuel pump had went out. It been cold as hell. So I really ain't even been tripping, though. Been driving, you know, old trusty suburban over there. But uh, I was calling shops and everything. Shops talking about 45500 Call a little alley mechanics, they tell me oh, 250, 300. It'd be, it'd be too cold for me, man, to get up underneath here and do it the right way. So, I'm making me a little access panel right here. They all, the fuel pump is all right here on all Tahoe, Suburbans, uh, y'all, y'all already know, whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tap me some screws right here and a little latch and boom, close that back down, carpet back over it. And I don't know why some of it be under my seat anyway, so that's what it is right there. Been had my fuel pump a long time ago, man. It just got, I mean, it's a little warmer today or tonight. It's starting to get cool. It's about 9.30, going on 10 now just really started uh well i did that but i stopped made some runs anyway um as y'all can see i'm right there at it though so let me go and get to it hey youtube this is uh day two it got kind of late yesterday and uh had to call it quits had to prepare myself to go to work and all that crap and then um Y'all can see I got, I don't even know what the first part of the video is, but y'all see I got them off. Uh, yesterday, it kind of cooled down a little bit, so I really couldn't get get to it. But I am having, yesterday I was having a little problems getting these off. So, I'm going to work with it today. Just getting off. Got my light. And if y'all asking how I found out that the uh, fuel pump was here, look, seeing where the tank was at. Y'all see, I drilled a hole. One hole I couldn't really see, so I drilled another hole and boom, seen it. So let me go and get to it, cut y'all on. All right, back on, on rather. Show y'all. It's a lock plate. This is a lock plate that goes around it. Uh, they sell a tool for that also. I wasn't about to do it, so I just used a screwdriver and a sledgehammer. Hit it around. Yeah, actually, the screwdriver really didn't work. Nothing didn't work, but you know, my my uh my bodywork hammer, and then hitting the back of that with the sledgehammer. You know, putting it in one of them one of them little grooves. One of these little grooves. It's all around, and knocking it out. You know, so. Got that, so I'm about to pour this on out. See what we got you too. Got the old one out right there. So I'm about to go on there, assemble the other one, and go on and drop them back in. All right, I'm back in the house for a minute, trying to uh, warm my hands up real quick. But this is the part number to them little clamps uh, for the fuel lines. Like I said, they sell a tool that um, you use. Come on, focus. That you use to get them off. But I ain't, I wasn't about to buy that tool, so I I ended up getting it off. Like I said, but one of them was cracked. Well, I cracked it, but it was kind of rusted anyway. So I mean, rust around it, so I couldn't slide it. But here go the part number that y'all need. All right, they come with six of them. You just find your size up in there. Hey YouTube, this wasn't supposed to be no two, three day project, but you know, I really wasn't tripping because I could drive my truck. And it was, uh, when I was getting off work, it was late, but I'm out here, got sunlight, so we're about to go ahead and finish this on now. One thing I really got to do is lock that ring on, put the lines on, and it's a wrap. I'm going to cut y'all on when I get that. Uh, I'll be running in and out the garage. That's when it uh torpedo heat it, get warmed and come back out. But as y'all can see, 
I got it uh got a little bit more to turn so this little tab go down but other than that got it in and we're gonna fire it up in a minute all right I can show y'all under the hood of this car. It's super clean. You can see the battery was dead, too low. Making it big clean. Perfect. All right. See my tile flat. That's on. Only good thing, I don't know if y'all can hear that, I got that compressor on. It's a good thing about having a compressor. I can run my own air. Yeah. Had a slow leak, I mean, got a slow leak, Ben had a slow leak. Uh, I didn't try to start this motherfucker yet. Just moved the car back, had it running for a while. I ain't even put none of this down, but I'll, well, I'll push that back down. I gotta go in the crib, get the little latch. But well, let's go on the truck, see what we got. Let's see if this motherfucker start. Yeah, back in action. Back in action. Alright, well that's how you do it. Appreciate y'all.